Hey everybody, it's Eric, um, and I'm here just just saturating this channel with Dragon Duels, uh, and <laughs> I'm here with Dave of the Five Rings. Hey Dave. Hello. Hello. Dave is the the guy who, I mean, I, I had seen some Dragon Dueling decks before floating around after Children of the Empire dropped. Um, I wasn't too inspired, and then Dave posted his his variant, and I've been playing it for a while, this Meme the Dreams. I'm just calling it Meme Dreams, and I'm spelling dreams with D-R-E-M-E. -E. Well, then it's basically like an Irish cream, and we're here playing green for St. Patty's Day, because nice. that's how they do it in New England. So we're going to play a mirror match with this thing and see how <laughs> miserable we can make your lives. <laughs> this... This is going to be stupid. Yeah, let's kick it. Let's start it up. Let's do this. I'm going to try and play fast and loose here because I I, I need some sleep, but I, I do want to see how this goes. Getting uh, sleep before an elemental champion or elemental championship is important. Yeah. Um, when the roll off, first player. I'm gonna be second. And. I wish there was a way I could rearrange my provinces because I just don't like where certain things always I think you up. can set them. I've never done it. But I thought you could do it. I, I know you used to be able to. I can't think you can do it anymore. But I don't know. I just dislike certain... like. Oh. Oh, no. I guess you can't. Yeah. I never used to do it, and I think that people... Before the, the change, they used to be able to do it. Uh... Yeah, this is weird. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I think let's ditch those two. Oh, you're already. I don't know, we're just in the city. Um, not that. Fine. Okay. Doom Shigenja seems fine. Uh, and then that's going to be a pass for you, huh? You don't know. I might go <laughs> to Fate Hitomi. I think that would be interesting. Uh, it, it would be a play. Yeah. Cool. Now I actually have to think, because, like, do I want one fate? Do, no, you fate, yeah. I'm gonna <laughs> you're you're going <laughs> to, like, you're seriously considering that, don't we? Uh, yeah, yes. I think we're going to pass. Just, oh, boy, I was afraid of that. I actually considered bidding one. <laughs> <laughs> this is, all right, this is going to be weird. Uh... Cool. And you are going first, uh, so we can get yep. definitely pass through there. I need to set up my action windows. I always hate there... that you can't just keep your action windows. Mine stay. I'm. Uh, that's probably something just wrong with me. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Okay. Both have a favorable, huh? This will be fun. Yes! Hey, that's, ah! <laughs> that's good luck for you. Yeah. Discard that one card. Do the list cool. training. Wow. Okay, well, good game. <laughs> that that literally was, like, what I needed to do. <laughs> oh, that was man. the one thing I... Well, I would like to flip a province, too. <laughs> well, now you can you know if you want to risk running into the resto just just take it I'll lose my honor I'm on 6 because of that nosedive that puts me in a bad kind of place <laughs> wow wow 
Cool. Hashtag cool story, bro. Yeah, it's not a cool story. Uh, no, I don't think I'm going to pass the conflict. <laughs> Get out of here, Hitomi. Before the throne. And this is when I just drop all the attachments and, like, make you break. Yeah. Okay. A bit further out of the hole there. Not bad. Uh, okay. You passed. Oh, Jesus, man. This is rough. I mean, you got the hand advantage, definitely. Yeah. I feel like I should probably not do this now. Nah. I'm not here to offer you. Now would be a bad like I should wait until I can get a big character out. This was this was not if I pull that actually back into my hand since we're experimenting. Nope, go for it. Go for it. I'm gonna pull it back. I'm gonna give myself back to two fate. And uh, I'm gonna pass. Yeah, because I'm never going anywhere else. I'm never going to another province. I mean, that's on you. Why would I do anything else? Why would I go to another province? <laughs> because somehow I've managed to just smack you repeated. I, I buff you till you break my province. Yeah, yeah, okay. I drop my mirror mode dice show on you. Sure. And then duel you a stupid amount of times. Yeah. I can't believe that works. That That is evil. <laughs> Uh, yeah, fate phase, great, regroup, great. Are you on on auto pass here? Do you want to change that? No, I, I auto pass regroup. Okay. Um, there's only one piece of jank that I've discovered, and I want to do it in the uh, fate phase. Fate phase. Okay. Being uh, and becoming. If I wait until after they put uh, fate on rings, I can. Yeah, I lose one fate, but I can pull two fate off of a ring. So that limits your ability to get the fate off. Let's stop if you're going to be first player. Yeah. I can take the two fate off the ring, get two two turns on my guy, and prevent that two fate from winding up in my opponent's pool. That's true. Yeah, that's the thing about this. If if you start to do, I don't know. Yeah, like the honor thing, it's tough because we're going to be like pulling each other up. Like I'll pull myself up in honor. Oh yeah. Um yeah, this might be it might be grindy. Oh man. I need an actual dueling target. I gotta ditch all this. You have a Hatomi sitting there. Alright. <laughs> and man, you got a lot more faith than me. Nah, three. Could be worse. Uh what does this leave me with? Three. Let's do it. Yukuni. Bigger duelist. Except no Aijutsu Masters. Okay, okay. And yeah, let's pass. And we've gone back, back to Paris. Here we are. <laughs> cool. Okay. <laughs> Riveting stuff for everybody. Hmm. 
Yeah. It's going to be weird. Yep. Did defend. Mm -hmm. What is this duel? You're oh, you're doing the dishonor bow thing. Yep. Dragon. Got any more? Nah. No, I'm good. I understand how this goes. Hmm. Where are you going? Presto. Ah. Use it. Yeah. <laughs> Weirdly, does better. <laughs> uh. Passing come. Jitsu Master. Yep, I I really did consider throwing that on Hitomi. Is that still after damage? Characters to increase or decrease the value of your bid? Yeah, it's the same as the yeah throwing stuff on your other on your opponent's characters are weird. It's weird. Yeah, but you can do it. I, <laughs> yeah, and that one's not restricted, so it just sits around counteracting one of mine. That's weird. Seems like a bunch of neutral nothing. <laughs> it's gonna happen. Uh, okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, Prudent Challenger. Not going to be super helpful in this match. Are you kidding? Well, you can't duel Yukuni to the point where it's actually going to do anything. Eh, you don't. Fair. I mean, and that's... He's your tower, so... For the time being. Yeah. Got rid of Hitomi, huh? Oh boy. Hidden guard. When the effects of a character are going to target any character you control, initiate sacrifice the character, will cancel them, and then discard a card, yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Shrimson. No, that's just a swordsmith. No, mine. Oh, yeah. Uh, that seems good. Uh, but you need to claim two to get the dice show. Yep. Seems hard. It can be. I should have three faded that one. Hidden guard. Hmm. It should let you simultaneously do this. What'd you get? A die show? Me too. <laughs> oh boy, cloud. You too. Fair. I find it hilarious. We have drawn all of our things. Oh, size seven and seven. She's what? She's a four, five, six, seven, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. One of those is. Is one of those masters yours? No, they're both mine. Yeah, they're both yours. Okay. Yeah, you just put the cloud. Okay. Uh, cool. I think we'd be happy with this draw phase. Hmm. We're just gonna. We're not, we're not gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna do anything, because <laughs> we're we're just gonna let go all of the die shows, and that's gonna be the game. <laughs> hmm. Whoops. <laughs> now I know you have a tattooed wanderer. <laughs> totally gave that away. Double copy. No, just single copy, but I could use it twice. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Ch 
And yes, I get to copy her ability even though it's clouded. Yeah, I know that, yeah. That's Dragon 101, come on. I've been Dragon for like three months. <laughs> like a <laughs> It's not very long. Um, shoot, 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 shoot. Hmm. Yeah, sure. You don't have an anti-hawk tattoo. No, I don't. Boop. This is are we actually going to win with conquest? <laughs> I expected that. All right. I think that might actually happen. Um, you know what? Oh, I've kind of missed my window, huh? Well, fifty-fifty. You need to covert someone. Oh, yeah, right. Um... Does it matter? Sure. Not like you're going to defend anyway. Yep. Sure, that's why I was saying, what's my window? <sighs> These are all good ones. Poop. Oh, you're. This is Keeper. I shouldn't be discarding those cards. And that was Military Air. Cool. Good to know. Okay. Midnight Rebels, you're of no use to me. Wow. Uh. <laughs> you have two cards in hand. I mean, if you got it, I'd be impressed. Let's do this. <laughs> hmm. 
Is that game? <laughs> no. I. Do you have an ability to remove fade off of my Agasha Swordsmith? Oh, uh, that's true. That's true. Woo boy. Dancing pretty close to the oh yeah edge here. This is crazy. Oh, might as well be that um, imperial favor. Wow, one honor. Fuck yeah. <laughs> in the in it to live. Oh, tranquil. <laughs> okay. Staying alive, staying yeah, alive. Just just skin your teeth here. Staying alive. I know your last one's upholding authority, so. Oh, and before the throne, gonna actually give it back to you because it's a take so that's cool yep but you should know what my yeah <laughs> last oh. is. yeah it's yeah that well Hawk tattoo. Well, now I know you definitely have a uh, certain card in hand. Doesn't matter. You've already got a favorable out. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yukuni's gonna keep you double alive. Yep. Four honor, and it's actually that's gonna make it really hard to dishonor you unless I can ditch you down. I can't chisel away. Yep. Well, Hitomi does a good job of dishonoring people, but you can just use the bow, I suppose. 
Then I can just, I don't know, talking through too many options here. Six cards, huh? Yep. And three fade on that water ring. You really want me going there? Well, it's basically worthless for you. <laughs> that was good. Great though, if you void my tell me. What's this political? Oh, darn. Not the worst thing. It's kind good of, to see what you had. It's pretty bad, but not the worst thing. gonna be Dave oh, that's the question what is it going to be Ah, I didn't know he could do that, even if would be dishonored. Fair yeah, enough. Yeah, any time. Wasn't sure about that. Now I now I know. Still. Uh, 
Ironically, I know you don't have any duels. <laughs> And you just favorable grounded your person home? Yeah. You want a two? I mean, I'm considering it. Says yes. Yeah, I should have put the light on the cloud. Oh boy. Oh, he's a monk, so you can, yeah, okay. Okay, so you defended it. Yeah, yay, yay, and then you got rid of my hot tattoo with that polling. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cool. And you're down to no no cards, and I have a card. Okay. <laughs> well, this is weird. <clears throat> yes, it is. I think you have it because you got two covert. Yeah, I got the double covert. Yeah. Yeah. Is that it? That's the main issue. Uh, I mean, it's questionable. We'll go, see. Go ahead. Go ahead. This was this was scrappy. Ah, there you go. That's that's the answer. The good old water ring. You got nothing in your hand either. God damn. Well, it doesn't matter now, actually, because you're attacking with your big guy, so... I... Yeah. No defenders. Oh, I, well, okay, I should have defended with the swordsmith. I mean, do you want to sure. do that? Yeah, yeah. Let's move that one in. Uh, where is it? Into and out of the conflict. Okay. Um, yep. I probably shouldn't have, actually. Yeah, what are you going to do? Dishonor me to death? Nope. 
Don't want to do that either. You no. just got to pass? Yeah, just pass. Didn't All really right. make much sense, actually, but you were going to do it anyway. And yeah. Okay, so. Uh, yep. Sure. I lost because I totally fed that one conflict. Which one? If I had just the uh I should have remembered the hawk tattoo. The hawk tattoo. Yep. Were well, you were holding one? Uh the hawk tattoo that I played on the uh Tranquil Philosopher. So there you go. Wow, that was a weird game. Thanks for playing. That was. Thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs> um I think pretty soon everyone's going to be sick and tired of seeing Dragon Duel decks, but this was an interesting experiment. I I agree. I mean, I managed to get Yakuni into being literally a beast. Yeah. 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 That was, uh, that was some squirrely stuff. I'm, I'm still... I was expecting to see one of us play an attachment on somebody else. Um, but... You know, never had the ideal chance for it. No. Um, yeah, one thing that came up before this match we were talking in our, our New England L5 our Discord which I have to start posting links to because that we should <laughs> get you know New Englanders who want to well, and, and people from around I guess around the you know the world popping in saying hi I don't know if that's cool I guess that's cool uh, we were talking with one of the localized Ian fight um, and he said in my earlier match today uh, that I sh against uh, Joe from Cincinnati that I, that I had an opportunity that I could have played a Daisho, a Miramoto Daisho on his opponent, on, on his character, and I could have won in, in one of the conflicts. And I, that was a revelation. Like, oh yeah, you can play that it card is. on them too. You have to think about now. Because um, it still gives your opponent, they, they still have to bid two to four and their opponent is still them. So unless they can, no, they, yeah, it, so they can't actually play like a fine katana or an ornate fan on it to, to drop it, which I thought you could, but you can't. So unless they can let it go or if they're holding another Daisho, then if they play that, then they both drop, I guess, simultaneously. Uh, according Basically. to Ian. Yeah. So, yeah. Cool. Cool stuff. Thanks for playing. Right. And um, thank you for having me. We're going to try and put some non-Dragon Dueling decks on this channel soon. So... Oh, uh, don't worry. The crane will be able to do some stuff soon, and the crane will actually probably have the better version of this deck as soon as their clan pack hits. I think the clan pack, is... yeah. Um, I'm like I'm in that state where I'm looking at this going. Other than defend your honor, why am I running a keeper roll? Because honestly, if I can just jank more duels into my deck why don't i and if that means running support of crane it means running support of the crane yeah that's a thing support of the crane um i mean when people are actually foolish enough to to attack void mm. or or in whatever they're not thinking about it not foolish necessarily but then then that's nice defending with your tower dueling them and then getting the the keeper fate and like your initiates out and stuff is cool, mm -hmm. but it's. I actually don't run initiates. Yeah, I, I, I think I've got them in here. I swapped out the initiates for uh, Sep and Hidden Guard. Oh right, yeah, that's who you. Okay. Because I love throwing them at the Emperor. Uh or yeah, Emperor. you cancel it. Yeah. And you make them discard a card for it. That's cool. Again, I'm not sure if uh, dropping the cloud on Hitomi was worth it because I don't think I ever opposed her. No, yeah. I mean, but what else? You The Swordsmith, I guess, is a good cloud target in this match. Uh, eh, possibly. In the mirror. I, I mean, mean, if you're 
you know, well, yeah, fishing it, for your it, dice it, shows. It is actually, it is the best target in this. And uh, had I thought about that, because the Seppin Hidden Guard basically could have thrown herself at Hitomi when Hitomi tried to do a duel. And not only does it stop your duel, it also makes you discard a card. Right. Yeah. So. And, and and hand size is tight in this in the mirror match yeah. with the well oh, yeah. specifically the mirror dueling match. Oh yeah. But it was it was surprisingly close. I was actually impressed with how close this was. I tried to go really aggressive early on and then my dynasty deck just really didn't support that. <laughs> yeah, the the one bid so the turn the I think that one game of Sedane at the end. Yeah. When you bid one. Um Yeah. That that was that was the what let me actually do stuff. Yeah, um, you know, break that problem. I wouldn't have broken that province, and then I wouldn't have been on your stronghold. So, yeah, exactly. That's crazy. Well, I th- I don't know. I people are talking about how this deck is non interactive, and it, I mean, to, it is in certain matchups, but this is pretty interactive. I don't know. Like we are, uh, you're dancing around. You're playing chess more. Um, yeah. Oh no, it is. It is absolutely a chess game deck, because if so, um, have you ever heard of Zwerstrung? Uh, no. Um, Zwerstrung, if I'm saying it correctly, it's a German word. It's a specific state of chess. Um, I'm trying to remember. It. Um, it is. Oh, what is it? chess term for um no good move because there is a zugswang zugswang that's what it is zugswang um yes zugswang yeah it's a state in chess where they have to move but no move will give them a superior position Hmm. this is what this deck does it puts your opponent into a position, especially when you got them down to like that two honor and you have right. the duels on the table to kill them. It goes, if you do anything, if you interact with me at all, if you attack, I can hawk tattoo in. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Ever show up where like, if you ever do this, I if you if you're dead, I'm just going to mosey on over, kick over your province. Yeah, I'm really interested to see. So it seems like the answer in most situations is is kill me before I I get assembled. Basically, right? It like, is because kill me before very... my co- my combo exists. And, uh... and the thing is, it's insanely fate intensive. That's the one thing is that this deck is so expensive. Yeah, you have to like let your first turn just go entirely, almost. Yeah. Um, and I like I, I like getting out a. I, I either go with so I only bring out one fate people on the first turn. Yeah. And that being, um, luckily, dragon have two one fate people. Well, so what if you don't see either of them? Then I bring out no one. And really, you I, go you go nobody over over two fates, even if I it's a bring, swordsmith. I bring out a swordsmith yeah. because swordsmith is card hand is right. cards in hand. Right, you're starting to filter up your you're putting your yeah. the pieces together. Every turn exactly. the swordsmith's around is it's it's gold. Yeah, it's it's equity and and like swordsmith is cards in hand and a swing and basically a body to get in the way and not lose an honor or do something and basically so like. But my, my ideal is I want to bring out either a Doom Shigenja or a Prudent Challenger. Yeah, the Prudent is... It's a body. It's like that's it's just a body that gets in the way for two that I've seen. But it, but it has a printed duel. And, like, if you're pushing for just one more printed duel, it's worth it. Yeah. Uh, I haven't actually ever triggered it because you, you, i've played it early like first turn and there's never there there haven't been so far in, in the matchups that i've played any any actual attachments to play and so no one you know you can duel and then they'll bid one and great but um, that's why I, I actually really love if you don't know you're fighting the duel deck yeah i, I bring out prudent challenger i throw down a fantana i attack 
Right, let them bid up. And and give let you some honor to start. Let them assassinate. Right, yeah, assassinations. Assassinate this yep. guy. Yep, that's <laughs> ideal if you can get him to, to do that. Because it still yeah. just costs you one. and It gets me one fate back, and yeah, it costs me two cards, but... I'm not sitting, I'm not, no, that Fantana is just there to bait and assassinate. Right. Well, now that everyone knows all the secrets, great. Um, <laughs> I've heard that the, uh, you know, the unicorn matchup, I've, uh, on the channel a couple of days ago, I played a Phoenix matchup that just, uh, I got stomped and completely, Phoenix. you know, turn two, broke my stronghold, never saw yeah. anybody besides like two cost characters, I think, or maybe a three. They can do that. Yeah. Again, we're, we're in an environment right now where um, the Phoenix and the Unicorn have a very effective two-turn game. Yeah. Yep. I mean, I, I guess to a much lesser extent, Lion, but... Lion don't have a two-turn game. Lion have a three-turn game. I mean, if they're on HMT and they actually manage to do it, but... It, I've, no you know... Lion will ever run HMT. It, yeah, not seeing it as much. I mean, I know that people do it, but it, it's a it is a bad stronghold. <laughs> it, it has the single worst thing that a lion stronghold can have in this game right now. Nine influence. Uh, oh. It makes you run more yellow cards. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> that's that's the ultimate reason why it's a terrible it's it's a terrible deck is because. You have to run more yellow cards. Yeah, why do they do that with the lion and not the the unicorn? Uh, because the unicorn's dynasty side sucks. Um, more accurately, well, it ac maybe it did have. suck. Eh, it, it's it's still not great. Like it's okay. Their conflict side is banger. Like their conflict side is fucking amazing. Excuse I, me, I'm I, not sure. No, no, no. Swearing's on. allowed. We're all adults, besides maybe the whatever. <laughs> Are there, are there young people even playing this game? I don't know. Maybe there are. That, good Probably. for them if they I are. don't think. I think. I don't actually think so. I think the youngest I've ever seen is like twenty-seven. Yeah. Uh, I guess the... if 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 uh, you know you you twenty-seven-year-old or whatever you older people with kids in the room are blasting this, then man, Dave. It's just hilarious to me because I started playing this game when I was, oh god, sixteen. Yeah, we've got some tried and true veterans around here. You and well, Nick's been in it for almost like 20 years. Yeah, well, it's it's an old game. <clears> and <throat> the the whole thing is the promise of the story. And that's what's kept us hooked. And it's it's always going to be that like that promise of you win, you go to worlds, you win worlds. You have now left that mark on that story. Yeah, yeah. Um... Too, it seems like too much lesser extent right now, but but still, I think um, are the think... like the the new Tadaka card that came out with um, you know the alliance there is that does that align with the story choices that were made or no? Uh, it was oh, it was just numbers members of the family, right? It's it's yeah. It wasn't like which clan should they go with? No, no, yeah, okay. No. But the the main thing is that. And, and, and this is literally speaking as I I played in Winter Court, which was the RPG, the official RPG game, Winter Court Four, um, and my character from Winter Court Four got put into the yeah, official canon fiction. Like there, I, I mentioned in fiction. Oh, cool! And that's huge. Yeah, that's awesome. And that's the promise of this game. Yeah, it's pretty pretty neat stuff. And that is still the promise of the game. Of you, you learn how to play this game, and you play you play well, and you play lucky. When you get there, you can make a choice that will shape the future of this game. And yeah, it's not going to be huge. Well, it'll be interesting yeah. to see if they bring if they if they you know make that a little bit more. I, it sounds like it was kind of silly and crazy in the past, but uh, oh, it kind of was. I mean, it really was. It, It'll be neat. I think that they they have a good feel on all that stuff. Um, I, Kujira's hireling, man. I that's a card. I um, I've I've won games with that card. Me Don't too. It. Me too. No, me too. I've played it. I I have a I have a thing with it. It's um yeah. It's not great, but it's fun. 
Um, yeah, I love throwing Yoritomo at people, and then when they spend all their resources taking out Yoritomo, I play Kujira's Hireling. Uh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> right. That's yeah, like, That sounds what? pretty similar to something I, I brewed up, actually. All right. So you have to get going. We have to go sleep. Um... I think you have to go sleep. I have to go sleep. We have a game tomorrow. Oh, you do. You do. I I won't be there. I'm I'm I got my daughter's birthday tomorrow, so oh, I, I won't happy be there. Happy birthday to your daughter. Yeah, thanks. Um, the the elemental championship was not scheduled with my daughter's birthday in mind. Um, but Nick's gonna be there. He's gonna be recording all of the games. Uh, and you know, with a little luck and hopefully, you know, no battery loss on laptops, they should all be recorded. We're gonna commentate commentate them and upload them um you know as we as we find time over the next week or two uh so if you've managed to sit here and listen to us banter stay tuned for that and thanks for joining us everybody see you next time see you next time